Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Automation Expert Training. I'm your host, Andrew Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is how we can create our application. So let's go to the presentation. So far, what we have done is to import the function blocks, import the adapters, import the cuts, the composite, and how we can how we added the uh, the plc to our solution but we actually haven't done anything regarding our application yet okay so let's take a look over here so if we pay attention on the last part on our solution we have system and we have app1 and also we have the name of the plc that we have created Okay, so inside app1 okay is where we are going to add all the logic in order to use in our uh, sorting line okay so what we need to do now is to put the blocks over there so we can call them okay or we can use them and then we're going to link it to one specific device okay so we just need to go over here in the system and select function blocks here we're going to see our area where the code will be located now in our sorting line we have a specific um, amount of blocks that we need to use or cuts that we need to use so we have one cut for valve and another one for the conveyor so we need to create instance of those cuts in order to replicate what we want to do. So we need one instance for the conveyor and three instance of the valve for the three valves that we have. So in order to use them, what we need to do is to open the APB one and then drag and drop each cut over there. As soon as we add one by one the cut, it will ask us for um, an instance okay so we need to name them so let's try to do that and do, 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 do. so in order to access to that specific part we just need to system okay and we should be able to see all this what is important now is the applications that you have over here okay you can create different applications but as soon as you enter in one of these ones, we should be able to access to the function blocks inside. Or if we don't have anything else, we just need to go to function blocks network and we have the direct access to it. So this is our area that we can develop the code. So in our case, we just drag and drop the conveyor. This is what's going to be the cut conveyor. you can see it's in there then i'm going to use the valve so it's going to be cut uh valve white right white just put this over there now zoom out another one for the red so cut valve red and another one for the cut bulb blue so we have all the elements that we need in order to control each part of the machine that we have now as soon as we create the instance of the cut on the left side we have the cut instance okay so if we save this part, okay, you should be able to see on the application that they have one for conveyor and three for each part of the valves. Okay, so let's go back to the presentation. Okay, this is for a meant. Now, this cut, in order to configure and define which is the uh, the valve, is not just enough by the name of the instance we need something to configure it so to do that we have inputs over here 
and depend on the input selected it will indicate which uh, which bulb is going to be so what we need to do is to add a constant on each of the blocks so if we go back to the configuration we have the first one is going to be white so right click over here add constant and set the value in true the second one is going to be red add constant red uh no this one blue is going to be true okay if you want another value just select okay i'm going to delete this part and there we go okay as you can see it's linked so this is the pre-configuration for each of the cut that we have now let's continue on this i don't want to jump into anything now it's not enough remember that it's not enough just put the block in there in this case okay this cut have as i mentioned before we have an adapter and this adapter will help us to link different objects okay using just one simple cable so over here on the conveyor part okay we have this interface so what we need to do is to link this interface with the next one to the next one and to the next one okay so everything is connected so now let me just go back to the software okay just drag over there and you will see that is a uh, orange zoom orange okay and here you can see the adapter that you're using so it has the events data the events um, information and the data information over there so the same for this and the same for this one okay so so far we have linked our application we have defined our application so that should be completed right now but this is only the application that is not linking to any other device okay that we need to cover that later so we have done is to add the cut for the conveyor done and the three valves done done and all together okay so the reason I finish in this part I'm going to finish in this part is that I want to show you that I can create an application okay and the application is not linked to run in any device okay so this is how we can create an application okay actually you have you can have multiple application over here if we go to system application layers you can have a new application over here let me just say for this just bear with me a second new application up to okay and you can add another one and then you can define for example here uh, that doesn't show why it's taking this time there we go application tree and then inside here you have a new layer different layer so you can define your different part of the machine in case the machine is bigger now you can define it so you can access inside of this to access to this particular application or you can go to applications and then application number two and then for example i have two conveyors and then na -na -na -na, like this and i have another one na -na 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 -na. okay and i have this application or i can have the third one and i'm going to have only bulbs just an example okay so you can add it in this way okay and you have different applications then each application can be linked to a different devices but that we are going to cover later so this is it for how you can create an application okay basically add open the application the default application that we have and add the function blocks that you want okay so this is it for creating an application thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one